Welcome. In this tutorial, we will be constructing control charts for proportions, otherwise known as the P chart. The P chart is used to monitor attributes and applies to categorical or qualitative variables. They are generally used to analyze the proportions of non conforming or defective items in a process. The center line for the P chart is P bar, which is found by taking the total of defective or non-conforming items and dividing it by the total number of items sampled. The upper control limit UCL is P bar plus 3 times square root of P bar times Q bar divided by N bar. The lower control limit LCL is similar with a minus sign. Q bar is 1 minus P bar, that is proportion of non-defective items, and N bar is the average of the sample sizes. For our first example, we consider this process data consisting of the number of defective items in a sample of 200 items collected every day for 15 days. We want to calculate the control limit and determine if the process is in statistical control. The total number of defective items over the 15 days is 156, while the total number of items sampled is 200 times 15, which gives 3000. We calculate P bar by dividing the total number of defective items by total sample size, and that gives 0 0.052. Consequently, Q bar is 1 minus 0 0.052, which gives 0.948. The average of the sample sizes N bar is 200, since every sample size is 200. Now that we have the three required values, we can now calculate UCL and LCL. So, plugging the values into the UCL formula, we have 0 0.099, and for LCL, we have 0 0.005. To ensure better accuracy, you want to take the square root immediately after evaluating these values. And also note that this tree multiplies the result after taking the square root. Don't take it as a cube root. Now that we have the control limits, let us now calculate the proportions and construct the P chart. The proportions are found by dividing the number of defectives by sample size. So for day 1, the proportion is 11 divided by 200, which gives 0 0.055. We do the same for other days, so we have all information required for the chart. And here is the P chart. Everything looks OK. No points beyond the control limits, and there is no unwanted pattern we can say confidently that the process is in statistical control. Let's look at a second example where the sample sizes are not all the same. The sum of the non-conformers or defectives is 119, while the total sample size is 2249. That gives us an overall proportion or P bar of 0 0.053, and that makes Q bar 0.947. The average sample size is total sample size divided by the number of samples, which gives 224.9. We now have the values required to calculate the limits. The upper control limit is 0 0.098 and the lower control limit is 0 0.008. Now that we have the control limits, we can go ahead and calculate the proportions. The proportion of non-conformers for day 1 is 10 divided by 224 which gives 0 0.045. We do the same for days 2 to 10. Now let's look at the P chart. We can see here that the proportion of defectives for day 9 is higher than the upper limit. Therefore, the process is out of control. We will recommend checking for the cause of this unusually high value and addressing it. And that's P chart. Thank you.